So much is happening. So much is moving. God is moving. Amen. Comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Tag somebody. I'm quite happy my speaking voice seems to have returned or it's being fully restored. So I'm very happy about that. People of God is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And I believe the spirit of God is moving. The supernatural waters are stirring. There is a supernatural stirring of the waters of God. And I'm talking about literal waters. And I'm also talking about Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit waters. Amen. Are you ready for God to part the Red Sea? Are you ready for the waters to be parted? Are you ready for the spirit of God? to cause you to walk on water. There's something about the waters and I want you to pray into the waters. Some will say the waters because there is an outpouring of rain and of waters and there is a movement from the water world or the water realm, the marine realm. And there is also an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But friends, I feel so stirred in my heart and my spirit today. And I'm excited to get onto this word because I have a word to share with you to prophesy over your life. Amen. So continue to share this on your broadcast. Tag somebody. Comment below where you are watching from. Hallelujah. Because one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor B, Ben Lim is in the house. Amen. My goodness, the 12th day of this new year, the 12th day of January, who's excited, hallelujah. And of course, yesterday was January 11 for Deuteronomy 111. And yesterday I released a prophetic word that God is multiplying, increasing, expanding you even a thousand fold. So get ready for the thousand fold blessing and increase to overtake your life. Amen. But today, friends, I feel such a strong stirring of the Holy Ghost, of the supernatural. And things are stirring. Things are moving. And I want you to begin to share this. Amen. Help us to break the numbers and the algorithms. I know this is an odd time, but you need to catch the prophets when they are alive. You need to catch the man, woman of God when they are alive. Amen. So friends, go ahead and hit the bell button on the bottom to be notified whenever I come on live. But you already know that there's a lot of shaking and changing of algorithms and in the spirit and even technologically and even in the natural. Amen. Because this is the beginning of the new year. So everything is changing. I want you to comment. Everything is changing. Amen. So comment below where you are watching from. My goodness, I feel such a stirring in the spirit. Help us to break the 200 mark, even the 300 mark today. Amen. Because I want to declare over you that the angel of the Lord has gone before you. The angel of God has gone before you. And there is a supernatural stirring in the spirit. There is a supernatural stirring in the waters. What does the water stand for? The water stand for the Holy Spirit. The water stand for uh, movement and life. There is a supernatural stirring in the realm of life. Zaba Karabrota. So continue to share this on your wall. Tag somebody, my friends. Would you tag somebody, share this on your wall? Would you begin to give us some hearts and likes so that we can break the algorithm. It seems that Facebook and these other technological giants are trying to hinder the voice of the prophets and stop the move of God. But who here knows that breakthrough is in the house. The spirit of the breaker is on this broadcast. So I want you to say breakthrough broadcast, amen. Comment below where you are watching from, friends. My goodness, everything is changing. And there's a supernatural stirring in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Comment below where you are watching from so I can give you some shout outs. Because surely the Lord is in this place. And even now, 
whatever's hindering and holding back the algorithm on this broadcast. I break it off. Spirit of witchcraft and control and tyranny and sabotage be broken off in Jesus' name. Someone say breakthrough. Hallelujah. Rabba Karabasi, it seems like there's a lag even with your comments that's coming in. Glory to God. Someone say breakthrough. This is a breakthrough broadcast, my friends. Breakthrough broadcast. Hello there, Philippines. God bless you. South Africa, it's late over there, but thanks for jumping. Philippines again, amen. Natalie Sharona, bless you. Child of Most High. Thank you. Montreal, Canada. I'm so excited to be in Vancouver, Canada next week. Dana Elizabeth in Costa Mesa. Down the street from me. Alyssa from Honolulu. God bless you. New York. Amen. Jericho walls are falling down. Downtown Los Angeles. Sharabakara, Florida in the house. Glory be to God. Zara Baroko Tarabrata. Amen. Let's break the numbers and the algorithms because there's a word for you, a word for your life today. Amen. First and foremost, the Bible says in the days of Samuel, the prophetic word was very rare. Who here knows that yes, there is a plethora and a multitude of prophecy, but the true prophetic word of God was very rare and it's becoming rarer and rarer. It's becoming medium rarer, amen. And the true prophetic word of the Lord is becoming rarer and rarer. And let me tell you friends, God is wanting to release the true word and heart of God all across the earth, amen. Even here, it just seems like there is a lag of the comments coming in. However, God bless you, everybody that's tapping in and continue to help break the algorithms and give us some hearts and likes. Hallelujah. But today I want to talk about the waters that are stirring because there's a stu supernatural stirring of the waters. There's a supernatural stirring of the waters of the Holy Spirit. Someone say stirring. And what does that word stir mean? What stir means or what stir stands for, it means that there is a churning or a churning. Imagine like butter back in the day or the olden days. Or if you're going to bake a cake, what do you do? You churn the flour. You churn the butter. So there is a churning and a churning. And there is a circular motion of churning or stirring in the spirit. And I believe that there is a stirring of waters that's taken place in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Now, this is a shocker because this may be the lowest I've ever had on my Facebook Live. But the devil is a liar. And who you knows, this word is going to be super powerful for you in Jesus' name. So I, today, I began to look at a few different properties because of course, as I've shared with you, we are looking to set up and open up our official office studio space. So that's very exciting. So pray with us because I believe we found the perfect and the right place. Someone say, it's mine. That's right, someone say, it's mine. But let me tell you, as we were looking for the right place and space and properties, I felt a stirring in my spirit and the Lord dropped this word about the angels stirring the water. Amen. The, there are angels right now that are stirring the waters. And what does water stand for? Water stand for trade. Do you know that you and I, we as human beings, our bodies are made up of 70 plus percent water. So there's a lot of water even in our body. The body says in the book of Genesis that the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Amen. So there is a hovering over the waters. And I believe right now God is saying he has released his angels to stir the waters, to churn the waters. And the Lord began speaking to me about the passage in the book of John 5.
Now we're going to go into this word, but I want you to continue to share this on your wall and tag somebody because there is a supernatural stirring of the waters of the Holy Ghost. And I declare your waters are breaking. There's a breaking of the dam. There's a breaking of the waters. There's an outpouring. There is a supernatural overflow. There is a flooding. There is a floodgate of glory. So there is an outpouring of the fire and the power of God. Someone say it's pouring out. So there is a pouring out of the waters of God. So there's something about the waters. Even in this season, there's something about the waters. Can I get an amen? So we need to look out for the waters because even in Los Angeles, the drought is finished and all across the earth, I believe that there is a release and an overflow of the waters. So look out for the waters, says God. Someone say amen. So even now, as I'm talking about the real natural waters on planet earth, the Lord began speaking to me about the stirring of the waters. There is a stirring of the waters, a stirring of the deep. Someone say deep. And I believe that there is a supernatural stirring taking place. John 5, verse 1. I'm about to preach, so I want you to say preach, Dr. Ben. John 5, verse 1. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And the Bible says, now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate, I wanted to say sheep gate, by the sheep gate, a pool in Aramaic is called Bethesda, which has five roofed colonnades or roof pools, okay? In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been invalid, paralyzed, immobilized, disabled, not able to move. Some people believe that this invalid for 38 years, this invalid, this person, his limbs were falling off as if he had leprosy. But here the Bible says one man was invalid for 38 years and he was laid there, verse six. When Jesus Yeshua saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time. I want to say long time. How long have you been waiting for? How long have you been there? How long have you been stuck? How long have you been stuck in grief and misery down on the bottom, in the valley, in the pit? How long have you been there in the valley, stuck in your grief? You felt like you were stuck. Jesus knew that he had been there a long time. And Yeshua said, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be blessed? Now that word healed, it also is a derivative of sozo, amen. Do you want wholeness? Do you want salvation? That word sozo in the Greek, it means salvation. Do you want to become whole? Amen. Do you want to become healthy, whole, pure? Do you want to become sound, restored? Amen. Now that word, excuse me, is huges. And huges, which we get the word hygiene. That word huges or hygiene. So God is saying, I want to make you whole. I want to make you restored. I want you to be healed. Here's a million trillion gazillion dollar question. Do you want to be blessed? Do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be restored? Do you want to walk in your destiny? Come on, somebody. Do you want to go up to the next level? Do you want to arise and become a new creation? Do you want to be made whole? And Jesus said, do you want to be made whole? Verse seven, the man, the sick man, the Bible says the sick man answered him, sir, 
I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. Say stirred up. When the water is stirred up. And while I am going, another person steps down before me. Jesus said to him, take up your bed and walk. And at once, say at once. And at once, the man was healed. And he took up his bed and he walked. Someone say hallelujah. Now there's a number of things I want to talk about today. Because here the crippled and valid man said, sir, I have no one. Say no one. I have no one to help me. How many of you feel like you have no one to help you? How many of you feel like you've been stuck? And whenever you try to go down, whenever you try to step in the waters, whenever you try to move forward in your life, someone takes the opportunity. Someone steals it right from your hands. And you're like, darn it. You're like, shucks. Right before I was about to step in, someone steps in before me. How many of you have felt like you were last? How many of you felt like, there it is, the comments are coming in now. Breakthrough broadcast in Jesus' name. How many of you felt like you were last in line or right before you were about to step into something? It's like someone steals that moment and that opportunity. Thank you, Vic Strike, for being a subscriber. And you see here this invalid, paralyzed man who was stuck and Jesus Yeshua discerned that he was there for a long time. Here, as Jesus Yeshua began to talk with this man, the man said, sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water's being stirred up. And while I'm going, another steps down before me. Let me tell you, you are not going to miss your moment. You are not going to miss your opportunity. You are not going to miss out on what God has for you. Someone say amen. Now, the theory or the mystery, the mystics have it that whenever the waters were being stirred up, there were angels that would stir up the water. Scholars also say that the waters would get stirred up because the water from the ocean or from the waterways would come in and would fill up the waters. It's like the water jetty. It's like the waterways. So the scholars would say that whenever the waters would come in, it would go up. Now, what's so significant about Bethesda or about these pools? Some would say pools. You see John G. Lake, he even gained the idea, the revelation about the healing rooms, about the healing waters. John G. Lake gained revelation about the healing waters from these pools of Bethesda, these pools of healing, these pools of miracles, these pools of breakthrough. And I declare that there are pools, there are rooms, there are pools and realms and rooms of healing and miracle and breakthrough that God is about to release over your life. If you believe it, say amen. Now here at the Sheep Gate, I want you to say Sheep Gate. It's interesting. There's 12 gates to the temple, 12 gates to the temple. And this gate, it was called the Sheep Gate. Now, it was at the Sheep Gate where there were pools of healing. Now, Bethesda in the Aramaic and the original word, Bethesda, what Bethesda means is house of mercy. I want to say house of mercy. Beth in Hebrew means house. And Ezda or Hesed, the root word Hesed, Hesezda, it is mercy or it is love. All right, Bethesda means house of mercy, house of love. Hesed in Hebrew means grace, mercy, and love. If you're with me today, say amen. So this Bethesda is the house of mercy. But in order for you to enter into the house of mercy or Bethesda, you must go through the sheep gate. Come on, somebody. You need to be a sheep. You need to be a follower of Christ. You need to follow the voice of Jesus 
to step into the hesed, the nature, the realm of mercy, of grace, of the house of mercy. And here at Bethesda, we see that there were five pools. What does five in Hebrew stand for? Five stands for grace. Someone say grace. Now these were pools of grace, pools of healing, pools of mercy and love. Now, we understand that there are minerals or nutrients in different geysers, all right? Hot springs, right? How many of you have gone to hot springs? You go to hot springs in Palm Springs. You go to hot springs, uh, you know, in Avila Springs or Avila Beach in California, all around the world. There's these hot springs of minerals, these hot springs of healing entity and healing remedies. Now, these pools, they were known as healing pools, healing waters. And the mystery had it that whenever there were angels that came, the angels would stir up the waters. Someone say there's a stirring. I declare over you, there are angels stirring the waters for you. There is a supernatural shift and a supernatural stirring of the waters for your healing, for your miracle, for your breakthrough. There is a supernatural stirring of the waters and the angels are stirring the waters. There is a stirring of the waters, my friends, the waters of the spirit, the waters of the Holy Ghost, the waters of healing, of wholeness, of restoration, of breakthrough. Rabba Karaba, there is a supernatural stirring because the angels are stirring these waters. So if you want to step into the waters, the pools, the realms, of dimensions of healing and of glory, then you must be like a sheep. You must hear the voice of the Father. You must hear His voice and follow the Lord like the sheep. Amen. Are you hearing me? How do you receive Bethesda? How do you receive mercy? How do you receive chesed, grace, love, mercy, from God, Abba, Father, from above. How do you receive and enter into that realm? By being like a sheep and following the voice of the shepherd. My voice, my sheep, excuse me, know my voice and they follow the voice of the shepherd to be laid down in green pastures and to be living besides great waters. So God is releasing a Psalm 23 anointing. But I believe there's a supernatural stirring. But let me ask you, whenever things are stirred up, do you feel like you're on the outskirts? Do you feel like you're on the outside? Do you feel like you are an outsider? You see the invalid, he was paralyzed, he was stuck. This gentleman said to the Lord Jesus, he said, Whenever the waters are stirred, I'm making my way down, but somebody goes before me. My good golly gee, I missed my moment again. I missed my opportunity again. It's happening too fast. It's happening too quickly. But here's Jesus. He said, get up, take up your bed and walk. And at once the man was healed and he took up his bed and walked. Are you ready to walk forward in your destiny? Are you ready to walk upward in the wayward calling of Jesus Christ? Are you ready to walk? Someone say walk. And I'm telling you friends, Facebook is acting up today. There is something happening with this broadcast, but we rebuke the devil in Jesus name. Here, we see that there was a spirit of paralyzation that kept the man invalid. There were many sick people, blind, lame, crippled, paralyzed all around. And they were all waiting for the right time and moment to step in the waters. Well, let me tell you, now is the time. I said, now is the time because 
the one who stirs it all, the one who stirs it up, the one who shakes through everything. Jesus Christ, he's here. Rabba Karabra, and the Lord is saying, I'm about to stir it up. God is saying, I'm stirring up the waters. You are not behind. You are not lagging. You are not last in line. But I am stirring it up, says God. Someone say, stir it up. God is stirring it up right now. And the Lord wants you to step in and to jump in with faith in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So there is a stirring. There's a stirring in the spirit and in the supernatural. Shakaraba, and here we see, here we see the Lord Jesus. He said, right now, get up and walk. Get up and walk. Hallelujah. For 38 years, this man was bound. 38 years. I want to declare over you, every hindering spirit is being broken off of you. I want to declare over you every lingering spirit that has held you back, that has kept you bound, infirmed, stuck in infirmity. It's being broken off right now in Jesus name. And angels are being released. But let me tell you, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of all angels, the Lord of all spirits, Lord Shabbat has gone before you, and he himself has stirred it up. I believe right now, friends, there are pools of Bethesda, pools of mercy, of healing, wholeness. There are waterways of blessing that are being released now, and God is saying, get up and walk. God is saying, get up and walk. But will you be like the sheep? Because they had to go through the sheep gate to get over to Bethesda. Will you be like the sheep? When you follow the intimate voice of God, Rabbi, when you follow the voice of the Holy Spirit, then that is how you receive your breakthrough. It's not a method. It's not a cookie cutter way of strategy or structure but it's obeying the voice of the Lord. Your words have life. Where else can I go for your words have life? There is a stirring of the waters, my friends, and God is stirring things up. He's stirring it up over your life. If you believe it, say amen. There is a supernatural stirring. And I declare as there's a stirring, there's many changes coming forth. My goodness, the stirring stirs up demons, stirs up the deep places. Rabaka, the stirring exposes. The stirring also brings up the treasures. What happens when there's cyclones and earthquakes and hurricanes? Yes, they can cause catastrophe and destruction. But now the deep things begin to get revealed and the deep things begin to get exposed. Some would say it's stirring up. My goodness, there is a stirring. There is a stirring from the inside out. There is a stirring. Here in the translation, that word stirring means like boiling water. When the water begins to boil and bubble up, something is boiling. Like right now, I am hot in the sweater as I'm preaching. There is a boiling. There is a bubbling up. There is a stirring up. Something is coming up from the depths, from the deep within. Heather, you're funny. There is a bubbling up and a stirring and a boiling. Things are rising up from the depths. Someone say stirring. <laughs> there is a stirring of the waters. And what does the water stand for? The waters can stand for trade because it's on the waters where the ships would trade. We see the significance of waters 
And I declare right now the waters of healing, the waters of restoration and wholeness is being stirred up and it's coming over you in Jesus' name. I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says stir up your gifts, stir up your faith, stir up your most holy faith. Shadabatara. Someone say it's stirring. Somebody say it's churning. There is a churning and a stirring in the mighty name of Yeshua. And I believe there's a great stirring in the waters of the oceans today. Amen. But I saw the angel of the Lord stirring the waters. I saw the angels of the Lord stirring the waters. And God said, what are you waiting for? Step in. The Lord said, why are you waiting? Step in. Every immobilizing, paralyzing spirit is being broken off of you. What are you waiting for? Step in the waters of change, the waters of healing, the waters of breakthrough, the waters of baptismo. Rabbi, there is a stirring. What are you waiting for? Let the Lord stir you up. Let the Lord stir it. Yes, we like it stirred and not shaken. Let the Lord stir it up. Amen. So I believe there are angels that have been released and things are being stirred up in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Declare with me, God is stirring it up and he is turning it up. Things are getting turned up, turned Things are getting turned up in Jesus' name. But there is a supernatural stirring in the name of Jesus. A supernatural stirring. For the angels are stirring. And hear me now. There were five pools. Five which stand for grace, chesed, mercy. God is stirring the waters of mercy. God is stirring the waters of grace. There is a stirring of the waters for healing, wholeness, and breakthrough. So I declare grace on your face. I declare grace over your race, over your race, your life, the lane that you're running. There is a grace coming over you. Someone say hallelujah. You felt like you were on the outskirts, on the bench. You were sidelined. And the invalid man said, Sir, whenever I want to go in, someone goes in before me. They steal my moment. They steal my opportunity. Oh, they snatch it out of my hand. Oh, Rabbi, why I oughta? But the Lord Jesus said, You don't need to just wait any longer because breakthrough is right here at your door. Breakthrough is right here in front of you. Get up and walk. How many of you felt like people are ahead of you? Zaba Karabrata. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long. To worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Someone say right here and right now. Serabatarabrota. Right here and right now. Rabasata. Right here and right now. The angels have gone before you. And Bethesda. The house of mercy. The house of grace. Chesed. Bethesda. Beth Chesed. The house of love. <sighs> It's being released to you now. It's stirred up. It's boiled up. It's hot and ready. 
now. Strike the iron while it's hot and ready. Now, shakaraba karabrota. And today, I saw a vision of angels being released. And they were stirring up the waters for your breakthrough. <laughs> they were stirring up the waters for your healing. My goodness. For your outpouring. For your miracles. They were stirring up the waters. You've been waiting. You've been waiting. But it's stirred up now and it's hot and ready for you now. I want you to just step into the swirling, stirring waters by faith and the Spirit. Jesus. 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 Get ready to walk. Get ready to walk forward in freedom, in jubilee, in freedom from debt, poverty, slavery, infirmity. The waters are rising and the waters are stirring. And I declare you will not miss your moment. The time is now. Now is the time. Now is the time. Don't let discouragement hold you down. Don't let disappointments hold you back. Don't let last year, yesteryear's failures and mistakes because you're stepping into the house of Chesed, Bethesda. You're stepping into the five pools of grace and glory. He's stirring it up, my friends. Some of you are feeling a stirring in your spirit. And I declare there's a stirring in the waters of the oceans. Why do you think a hurricane or a cyclone? It looks like a portal. It looks like it moves in this motion because that's the stirring of the angels. That is the stirring of the angelic. Angels are being released to stir things up, to stir up the atmosphere. And there is a movement of grace coming to you. Every held up blessing is being released to you now. Every held up breakthrough. What did Daniel, what happened in the days of Daniel? The angel said, I was held back by the prince of Persia. But as soon as you began to pray for 21 days, fast and pray, I was released to be sent to you. Someone say there's a stirring. Raman de Rosata. There's a stirring. The waters of change, healing, deliverance, restoration, wholeness, the waters of breakthrough, they're being stirred. The waters of finances, the currency of financial blessing, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost is being stirred over your life. So today I saw angels being released and they're returning, stirring the waters. It's stirring. My goodness, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel like I'm in the third heavens right now, my friends. I feel like I'm in the third heavens right now. There's a stirring. Jesus. 
Jesus. Jesus. There's a stirring. Today on the 12th day of this new year, there's a stirring of the waters. A stirring of the deep. A stirring of the oceans. A stirring of your heart. And the waters of Chesed are stirring and bubbling and boiling up now. A stirring up of financial glory and breakthrough. Stirring up of your gifts and of your faith. There is a stirring. Someone say hallelujah. I saw the angels being released and they're stirring up the waters. And you will not miss out on all that God has for you. You will not miss out on the word of the Lord. You will step into the glory of God. You will step into the pools and the portals and the gateways and the access ways for his glory. Why do you think many times you see in movies or shows the water was a portal? Why do you think babies are birthed and there's water? In the womb of a mother of a woman there's water because baby the waters are portals. The waters are realms of transference where th things are transferred and imported and exported and shipped and exchanged. Why do you think you can get sick through saliva? Through saliva, you can contaminate and spread germs and viruses. It's in the water. And the waters would be portals or gateways. Hallelujah. It's opening. The portals are opening. It's opening. It's happening. Why do you think witches would have cauldrons of water or potions and they would see the reflection because that was a portal. It was a realm that would open up. The Lord is saying, I am releasing the waters. The waters of the Holy Ghost are being poured out. There's a stirring, a churning of angels. The angels are turning and stirring and churning. And it's being released to you, says God. So are you ready to step in? For you will not miss your moment. You will not miss out on what God has for you. I declare now, the angels of God that are assigned and commissioned to your life, they're walking with you and they're carrying you through. And the Lord Jesus Christ is leading you through. Now get up, take up your mat and walk. Walk forward. This is your time. Now is a time for you to arise and shine. This is your moment. Nothing will cause you to miss it again. No devil, no witch, no warlock, no curse, no spirit of infirmity will cause you to miss out on the breakthrough blessing of God's Kairos alignment and moment. Glory be to God. Who's ready to step into the five portals of Chesed? The five portals of waters, pools, Bethesda, pools of healing, pools of miracles, 
pools of financial networks. If you're ready, say amen. Now, I want you to lift up your hands. The floodgates are opened and the Lord is stirring the supernatural waters of the Holy Ghost. Water stand for many things, as I said at the beginning of this broadcast. Water stands for healing, the Holy Spirit, the supernatural. Waters could stand for finances, purity, wholeness, restoration. But there is a stirring of the waters. Glory be to God. Even out of your belly, even out of your bosom, out of your spirit, man, there is a stirring and a rising up taking place. Someone say, rise up. Rabaka. But you must be like the sheep and listen to the voice of the Lord, of the shepherd, of the Holy Ghost. If you receive it and believe it, I want you to say amen. There is a stirring, a stirring. And in midst of the stirring, you will not miss it. In midst of the supernatural stirring, you're going to step in. Ha ha, ha ha. Rabba baba rata tara brata. You're going to step in to the stirring of the supernatural realms and portals and waters of God. So get ready for open heavens, abundance and outpouring. If this word bears witness with you, say amen. And if this word ministered to you and blessed you, I want you to say hallelujah. And consider sharing this word, my friends. Share this word with somebody. Tag somebody. Would you pray about becoming a subscriber and give this page a like and a follow, amen? And do consider following me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. For every platform, we have different type of content that's being released. But there is a stirring of the waters, a stirring, and the angels are stirring these waters of change and you will not miss it, but you're gonna step right in. Somebody say, I'm stepping in to the deep end. Hallelujah. Well, friends, remember next week, I'm gonna be in Vancouver, Canada. So if you are in the BC, British Columbia, Vancouver Island area, come and see me. I'm so happy to be back. One of my favorite places, cities in the world is Vancouver. So come and see me in Vancouver next week. Also the week after that, I will be in Tulsa and Oklahoma City. The week right after that, I will be in New Mexico, Gallup and Albuquerque, New Mexico. So make sure you join us for God is moving like never before. Get ready to step in and you will be above only and not beneath. You will be the head and not the tail. You will be the lender and not the borrower. Someone say amen. Thanks for joining me, my friends. Look at that. Chelly says, I had a dream last night of water. Interestingly, the last two weeks, I've had a few dreams with water as well. Amen. Because water can also stand for destiny. God bless you, friends. Love you. Thank you for jumping on and joining me. Share this broadcast. 
consider giving us a like and a follow. Let's spread the power of God's prophetic word, of God's spirit all across the earth. Amen. God bless you, friends. I'll see you soon.